It's the dark of the moon, and it's going to be a very retrograde sort of day. September 13th, Red Robe Astrology. Sun's in Virgo, moon's in Virgo. That's the dark of the moon. The sun and the moon are in the same sign. The moon is inching towards the connection that will happen tomorrow. We call the new moon in Virgo. It's a healing and restorative um, new moon. Thank goodness we can certainly use a little bit of that. It's the Mercury retrograde piece of the day that I think is going to give us the most challenge if there's going to be a challenge in the day. Um, Mercury has stationed. He's at eight degrees of Virgo, and now he won't move from this degree point until after he turns around on the 15th. So this is what's called Mercury's storm cycle. Backward moving, but not appearing to really move at all. And so communication will be extra sort of you know, persnickety today, tomorrow, and on uh, Friday. Also, uh, in Mercury's retrograde cycle, he's been agitating Pluto and the North Node, both in a Seska square. Um, that's called a Thor's hammer. That's like passive-aggressive communication from the uh, a hit to Pluto and just difficulty negotiating the things you need to move your life forward. That's Mercury agitating the North Node. So that pattern's been in place this whole retrograde cycle and the Moon is conjunct Mercury, Seska squaring Pluto, Seska squaring the North Node today. That means that we're in agitated communication as the planet of communication isn't moving and, you know, Moon conjunct Mercury would typically elevate communication but it's elevating his storm cycle retrograde status. So there's going to be some edgy, you know, conversations today. The moon will oppose Saturn, so there's going to be some <laughs> breakdowns, delays, and lessons for some folk. This is not a hugely difficult day. It's just that Mercury's retrograde in his storm cycle, which means just watch out for communication and expect some retrograde shenanigans. Tomorrow's the new moon. We'll talk all about that in tomorrow's post. Meanwhile, think about intentions you want to set in the direction of healing and restoration and have at it.